Hello, hello friends, it's Brooke Sidney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today I am getting on with a tip to help you be more delusional in 2024, to help us get to all of our dreams and desires this year and to do it so much quicker. But before I get into it, I just wanna remind you there are two ways to work with me. Both ways are listed below, as well as two amazing communities of like-minded individuals who are journeying with me on this manifestation journey, right? I love that idea, you all. We are journeying together as we improve our manifestation abilities, and I am just here to share with you what I am finding is working in my life and in my client's life. So today I wanted to talk about the idea of being delusional in the 3D reality. We talk about ignoring the 3D all the time, but for many of us, it seems ridiculous. It just seems like, why the heck would I do that? Many of us, I know that my background, as you all know, is in law. I'm a lawyer in addition to this. And for those of us that really operate in the logic world, it can be very difficult for us to kind of get into the Delulu world, to get delusional about our lives. So I'm here today to plead my case to help you become delusional a little bit easier. So first of all, let's just begin with the premise of what delusional is. And it's really, if we really want to think about it, it's choosing to see the 3D, the reality in front of us differently than it's appearing. We all know that Whatever is happening right now, especially those of us that have been on this manifestation journey, we know that we at some point created it. In our minds, we decided at some point that the things that we have in front of us are actually out picturing of things that we created inside of us. So whether we love it or hate it, we know that we were a part of its creation. And I know at first it can be a little, I feel like, a big downer. Let's say it like that. It can be a downer to think that like, oh my gosh, I created the fact that I don't have any money or I created the fact that I don't have the love of my life or I created the fact that, um, you know, there's some element in your life that you're not in love with. But the flip side of it is, is that if you created it, now you can create something else. If you know that what you have been doing up until this point, up until today, has given you what you have in front of you, you know that with some tweaks, some modifications, and a little bit of reprogramming, you can make it look new, right? You can change your 3D reality. And one of the tools that helps us change our 3D reality, in addition to affirmations and scripting and all of those things, and deleting some of those words that we talked about yesterday, I'll tag that video, is to become what we call delusional about the 3D. And that means disregarding the 3D. It means not putting any additional thoughts, meaning anything on top of it. As one of my friends used to say, don't add any extra sauce to it. Don't add anything to it. Allow it to be what it's gonna be, but keep it moving. Don't react, don't start taking actions, don't allow yourself to go into a spiral or a swirl around it. You're simply just ignoring it. And I have found, I have found one of the easiest ways to talk myself into being delusional. So listen in. The easiest way to help me become delusional about the 3D is kind of like an Instagram reference. Meaning I know that whatever is in front of me, especially I have, if I have been conscious about creating it, I've been deliberate, I've been intentional, I've been cleaning up my mental diet, I have been affirming the things that I want, I have been scripting and visualizing what's ahead for me and I'm hearing spirits speak to me about the things I'm supposed to have and manifest and what's supposed to come through me and it's not here yet, then guess what I know? I know that I'm not finished yet. I know that I'm not done. I know that this process is nowhere near the end. I know that I'm somewhere near the beginning and depending upon how I'm feeling, depending upon what I know to be true at that moment and when the manifestation is coming, and I'll tag that video because I know some secrets to when my manifestation is coming, 
if that's not happening in that moment and the 3D is not saying what I wanted to say, it's not looking how I want it to look, then I know that the story is not over yet. I know that I'm not done. I know that it's not finished. I know that it's on its way right? It's like Instagram. We know that the pictures that you post and the reels that are out there, they're not the full story. It's only part of the story. Or we know that when you see social media, right? You're seeing someone's finishing. You don't see the beginning or the behind the scenes. You don't see the messy middle. All you're seeing is what they're putting at the end. So take your 3D reality in the same way. Whatever you're seeing right now and it doesn't feel good to you or it's not what you want it to be or it's not quite there yet, or as we say in the manifestation community, it's bird before land. You start seeing little kind of like insights that your manifestation is coming. Then it's just that. It is still on its way. The vision is being created. God is still doing its work. Spirit has still got its hand in it. Spirit is still moving things behind the scenes. The bridge of incidents and events are still happening. Your manifestation is on its way. And your job, our job, my job, is to continue holding the faith, is to continue to do the work, is to become delusional to whatever's appearing. Because if he's not here, my SP's not here yet, then my manifestation is on its way. It's just not finished yet. If the house that I'm trying to buy, it's not in front of me right now, or I'm not sitting in it, guess what? The manifestation is still on its way. If the job is not here that I want to go to every single day. Guess what? The manifestation is still on its way. It's very easy to be delusional. It's very easy to say, you know what, 3D, that's not it. I know that it is coming when you can accept that you are in the middle of it and it's not finished. It is on its way. It is right here, right now. And there is just a moment away from you seeing it and being it. And the moment that you put on that attitude, that self-conscious, that thought systems and belief systems of you having it and being it, the 3D will become your inner reflection. Your outside will look like your inside. The 3D will look like the vision that you keep seeing. The 3D will look like what you scripted out in the scariest of details. So I'm here today to appeal to those of you that have a super logical mind or those of you that are new on this manifestation journey and that are having a hard time becoming delulu or delusional to the 3D reality in front of you. So tell your logic mind that the dream, the vision, the manifestation just isn't here yet. It's on its way. Although you and I both know, our souls know, our higher self know that it's already done. We ask and it is given. It is already here. Tell your 3D human mind that it's simply not here yet. It's not done and it's right on its way, right? It is simply on its way and it's right here now. And in the next moment, we'll be able to see it. That makes it so much easier for me to discount and be delusional about the things that I'm seeing in the 3D that are just not working for me. And it helps me to not react. Because why would I react to the old news? Why would I react to the old scene? Why would I react to the play that's not finished? Why would I react to the movie that's not quite done, right? I'm just seeing part of it. I'm just seeing part of it. Keep that in mind and it will totally help you on this manifestation journey. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel and joined this community, make sure you hit that subscribe, like this video, and I'd love for you in the comments below to tell me one thing that you're going to become delusional about in 2024 so that you can manifest your desire. I will see you tomorrow.